guys, I wanted to make a video um, going over what I expect out of you for this week. Um, happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. That is Monday the 18th. And so today is actually Wednesday the 13th, but I'm making this video in advance because why not? So I want to show you some things I expect out of you for this week um, and what um, you may need to know. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And so when I go into Buzz, my Buzz looks a little bit different because I am a teacher. So um, on next week, we do not have a Monday folder. We have a Thursday, we have a Tuesday folder. Um, you're going to start with ReadWorks. So here's the deal on ReadWorks. We, I've changed the topic. So you have, this is your second set of articles. So your article for this, this set is important sports figures. This takes us all the way up into February, where we are going to do obviously Black History Month and learn some more things about Black History Month. I am working on doing something where you don't just do the book of knowledge, where like you read the article and then you do something else, maybe ask questions or something like that. I haven't figured it out 100% yet. Um, but you will go through and the first article is about Jackie Robinson. And so you will read about Jackie Robinson. I may do like a discussion board, um, maybe once a week where you tell me like, what was one thing you really learned about the articles we read or something like that. And so as you read, I want you to actually read this. I have upped it. So your first one about animals was a fifth grade reading level. I think you guys can do beyond that, but I wanted to start off kind of like giving you like an easy one. Okay, so uh, you have on here an article about Jackie Robinson. It's real small, real short. I already have had two kids that completed the book of knowledge for this week. So you're going to do that. That's what you're going to do every day. You're going to come in. You're going to do one each day. Um, there's actually where I grew up and went to high school, Don Carter. There's a bowling alley named after him. Um, so it's funny. Anyways, um, the other thing you're going to do is on Tuesday, you're going to watch this video. And as you watch the video, I want you to be thinking like, do I agree? Do I disagree? So I'm not going to say either way. I'm going to say, I want you to watch the video. I want you to use your critical thinking skills and then apply it to the discussion board. My plan is, is I'm going to try to put a link in here as well. And I want you to use facts from the link that I send up there. So the question is, should religion be taught in schools? And I'm talking specifically public schools, not private schools. Private schools have the right to do whatever they want to do. So what you'll do is you'll have your little thing and it'll, it'll look like this kind of, and you will respond. Discussion boards are gonna be a big part of this uh, semester because I think they're really important for you guys. It's important for you guys to start thinking on your own, especially as we move into, this is a reading unit. We are going into a writing unit shortly. When we go into the writing unit, you're going to be telling me your opinion every day, okay? First of Wednesdays, we will have um, a reading lesson, a lesson on grammar time, and I will upload a video for that as well. And then there's an opinion as well. So the, the theme of this week is religion in schools. I, um, again, I am not saying any certain specific view. Um, I just want you to start critically thinking, meaning I don't want you just thinking one way. I want you to be open to thinking, and I want you also to realize, even if you just stay in your own opinion, that's fine, but I want you also to be thinking about just the bigger picture, the bigger idea. So the opinion on here is, should we allow prayer in school? That is not just Christianity. If any of you know, um, in the religion Islam, they're required to pray five times a day. Um, we don't have very many Islamic Muslim people here. However, if you go to like places like Dearborn, uh, Michigan, you have tons of people who are Muslim there. Um, so the question is, should we be allowed to pray in school and should we study religion in school again? So I'm just asking you on Tuesday, I'm asking you to kind of introduce your t opinion there. And then the next day I've up uploaded an article you can click on the article if you want. Um, oh shoot, it's gonna log me off buzz. Um, in this article, it tells you a lot of different facts. I appreciate it if you pull a fact from here. Um, it does tell you a little bit of the history about how like there's um, there were fights between fights between the, prim <laughs> the 
Protestants and the Catholics in Philadelphia where people actually died. And the irony of it is, is that they are both under the umbrella of Christianity. It's not a Christian Muslim fight. It's within Christianity, there are fights as well. Um, and so it talks about different like prayer in school and why some schools don't allow prayer. I'm gonna upload a video as well, Pledge of Allegiance. Um, as you know, at our school, we do do the Pledge of Allegiance, which added in 1954, added that phrase under God. So um, it before it used to just say one nation, in, invisible, you know, whatever. And it tells you about like, should we teach uh, uh, evolution? So when I was in college, I went to ASU Mountain Home for my first two years, and there was actually a kid that um, got very, very physically upset because our biology teacher talked about evolution and he said i don't i ain't come from no monkey and he ran out of the room um and so it is a sensitive topic people have strong beliefs in it um so you may want to think about that as you enter your question as well and talks about different things like this if you are in person on thursday we are going to take this article and break it into jigsaws and break it up and um, if you are virtual, I don't have the opportunity to do that with you, but I do want you to kind of skim through this, even if you don't um, have it. So I'm going to try to see if I can go back to Buzz. Buzz is kind of tricky. Okay. So if I click back on Wednesday, I also have you doing a ReadWorks article as well. So you will do eight ReadWorks articles that will equal um, 40 points to so each each day is worth five points. That doesn't seem like a lot, but when you add it up, it becomes a lot of points. Okay. And then Thursday and Friday are important days because you are working on your character maps and doing rework. So character maps are important. Um, I told you I'm giving you a variety of options. So when you look at this document, it says your job is to create a map of the characters in your book. You may do a physical like map. You may do Google Slides. You may do a picture, you may do like a family tree. I am trying to let you do this as creative as you want it to be. The key is, is that you must cover three characters. If you are reading a nonfiction book, you're gonna have to switch it up and read a fiction book. I've emailed a few people and told them that. Um, and anyways, so you will need to provide two paragraphs explaining the characters in your book. I expect you to have at least one quote. So what that means is as I pull up a book, Jane Anonymous is the book that I'm currently reading. I read two books. Jane Anonymous is one of them. I would look through here and find information on where it tells me these things. So physical characteristics are things that you, like I look like. Right now I have dark hair, I'm wearing a blue shirt, that type of thing. Um, and then you're gonna have to tell me the name and you're gonna give me a piece of evidence. You may also choose to describe that character. You may choose to draw that character. You may choose to do whatever you need to do. This is due on Friday. Um, it tells you like, so you will find a quote. In your book, a quote does not have to be in actual quotations. People don't need to actually be talking. I'm not sure where we got confused along the lines of that, but it does not have to be a time when somebody is talking. It can just be a description. So. All right, so she describes, so Jane Anonymous is a book about a girl who gets kidnapped. And so I'm just going to use the character that get, that kidnaps her. Um, so I could use any of these as a quote. He waved when he caught my eyes, smile burst across my lips, like we've known each other for years. And then she goes on to describe him. He was handsome, admittedly, which de definitely helped. Tall with deep brown eyes, plus a bit of facial scruff, like he just crawled out of bed. I could use that quote. I could say on page 11, the book says he was handsome and middle So I'm going to, that's where I'm going to type it word for word. If I do not type it word for word, then you don't need quotations. But I'm specifically asking you to do one quote for each character. You're choosing three characters, providing me three quotes, physical characteristics. What do they look like? What are they like? What's their personality like? That type of thing. Two paragraphs, not a lot of work not a ton um and i think uh so you're getting grades for each person each evidence and then the last thing so these are each worth whatever it's out of 10 I'm, I'm taking 50 points for this it each one is worth like one out of 10 and then i'm gonna multiply it times five so each one's worth five so five points for physical characteristic one 
name, two, evidence. Then the last thing is clear and easy to follow. I should be able to see that you read your book and that you understand your book. If you are virtual and you choose to draw or map out your characters, you may do that. I need pictures of that. You can't just send me a document with two paragraphs. That's not okay. All right, and that's the last thing we are doing this week. I'm keeping it super easy this week. Next week, we're actually going to be watching um, a pretty long documentary. Um, the topic's going to be over CTE and football in schools. And I know that a lot of my kids um, don't have a lot of background knowledge on it. So um, please just let me know if you have questions. You can always reach out to me. I'm available at apitman at wmst.net. Um, I have a cat calendar now. That's what's up. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, you know, like I'm a YouTuber. Not really, but we're, we're working on it. Have a great day, guys. Bye.